And now to a story you'll see only on nine on your side. We now know 96 vehicles were involved in that pileup on I-275 Monday. And for one of the dispatchers sending help to the injured, it turned into a very emotional day. Nine on your side reporter Tom McKee spoke with one of those men who will never forget that day. Tom? Well, Clyde, that's right. Barrett Cohen of Mainville has been with the Hamilton County Communication Center for about 14 years. And he's handled plenty of emergencies during that time. But as he wrote in this report, nothing is going to match what happened on Monday. That chain reaction crash on I-275 that tonight is prompting hundreds of people to come to the Rivers Crossing Community Church for the visitation for 12-year-old Sammy Reagan. It appeared to Barrett Cohen that Monday would be a slow holiday shift at work in New Burlington. Then he noticed snow outside and the phones suddenly began ringing off the hook. He knew something terrible had happened and the caller was seeking help for a young girl who was unconscious. And once we found out that uh, you know, she wasn't breathing, uh, we offered CPR. The, the gentleman that was there, uh, an off-duty firefighter, as my understanding from, uh, from Indiana, was, he was amazing. And, you know, he kind of took everything under his own shoulders, but I could even tell he, he might have needed some assistance too just to kind of get things started. And we just, uh, you know, we did the best we could with, uh, with the situation that presented itself. What haunts Cohen the most is what he heard in the next few seconds as Sammy's mother rushed to her aid. That is what is playing into my ear to this day. And I, I haven't had a phone call that's affected me as much as this one does, has days after. I kept hearing her, I, kept, I keep hearing, I keep hearing the mother say, Sammy, it's mommy. Sammy, it's mommy, and that—that's just that keeps ringing back in, into my ears, and I can—I just um, I can't imagine. It wasn't until Cohen got home and hugged his wife and two small boys that he realized Sammy was virtually a neighbor. My wife came in and said that uh, you know she uh, she didn't make it and Sammy didn't make it and she uh, she went to Columbia Elementary right up the street, and it was like this thing just keeps getting worse and worse. I mean, she has friends uh, on our street and. It just, it really hits home. It was, this has been a tough one. There's no doubt about it. Very emotional, no doubt about that. And Cohen is no stranger to tragedy himself. Twelve years ago, his brother A.J. was killed in a fire at the University of Dayton. Summit Country Day, A.J.'s alma mater holds a baseball tournament every spring in his memory. Tom McKee, not on your side, live in Mason. Thank you, Tom. Visitation at Rivers Crossing Community Church in Mason continues until 7.30 tonight. Now, there will be a celebration service tomorrow afternoon at 3.30 at Hope Church on Western Row in Mason. In lieu of flowers, Sammy's family is urging contributions in her honor to the Sammy Reagan Memorial Fund at any Fifth Third Bank branch.